Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel on human design. Today we're going to be looking at the knotty question of chasing the carrot. Now I want to say right at the beginning, I, this is not about uh, not going for your goals. This is not about uh, improving your life in some way. I think it's natural for those of you who are uh, strategic uh, to really want to um, move ahead in your, in your life. So it's not about that. I myself have the alpha channel, so I, and also the 58. So improvement and getting on the right track is important for me. What I'm talking about in Chasing the Carrot is it's the unattainable. It's always just out of reach. You know, it's really like you're going for it and it's there in front of you, but you just can't quite catch it. And if you do catch it, it's never enough. Now, there's no point me talking about anything on a human design channel unless it's for your own self-examination. Uh, the whole point of these, uh, these videos is to help you transform in your life because I'm here for transformation. And I'm also enjoying this. But it's really about what is the unattainable goal that is always in front of you that you are chasing. And I want you to think about it. So let's go into it. But before we go into it, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Richard Beaumont. I've been in human design for more than 25 years. 20 of those have been training professional analysts. Okay, let's get into the nitty gritty. I want you to think about what that could mean in human design terms, what it means to be chasing the carrot. Well, it's going to be one way of looking at it is going to be in the open centers. The centers are open, they are receiving. So for example, they are designed to, if you use them correctly, they are designed for, for you to receive information that you can then access because you have the receptor for it. What happens with most people is that the open centers become a whole mind trip. And the mind is always trying to take control of the body and the life through the open centers. So an easy one on chasing the carrot would be, well, what about the open 54? An open route that is looking for excitement and looking for vitality, but in the 54, looking to climb up the ladder as fast as possible to get to the very top. So I know people like this and they are over ambitious. And they strain themselves to the limit because of their over ambition and because of them finding it difficult to really relax. So think about the open 54, trying to get all the way up to the to the 45, trying to be the queen or the king. Think about the open root in the adrenal glands and the way that they get tired they get very very tired this is the quickest way to exhaustion to be chasing something that is always out of reach so let's say this 54 meets the right people has the right opportunities gets to the top has their own business do you think that's enough no there is always more you know, those people that are that that came from not having much. I came from a, a background where I didn't have a lot of money. My family didn't have a lot of money. And for a while, that was my chasing of the carrot to get out of that, to get into a position where I had more material control in my life. But I'm not an ambitious person. I don't have the 54. I don't have a lot of tribe in me. You know, there isn't a lot that I'm really ambitious to achieve. There's nothing I really want. You know, I, I drive an old car because I love it. I mean, I'm an individual. I, 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 I buy things because I love them. And sometimes I need them. But on those kind of scales, it's got to be a love. So it's not about getting the next model and the next model and this year's model and trying to keep up with something that is endless. All the information that we're getting, a lot of the information that we're getting through the media is about the next best thing. I saw um, 
apparently it's a phenomena right now you know i i can't hardly believe it apparently it's a phenomena for people to buy a particular drink you know and it's a very expensive drink and they're all you know showing that yes you know i can afford this drink i'm drinking this drink aren't i great no you're chasing an endless carrot when the drink goes out of fashion you'll be chasing something else i mean it couldn't get any sillier and where we want to see this primarily in the in the human design chart is going to be in the open will endlessly trying to prove to prove one's love to another to prove one's status in the community to prove one's success in business etc 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 and it's never enough if you have an open will it's never enough this is endlessness in the open centers that will drive us to dysfunction and it does i mean i've never seen so many distractions and and people chasing this and that that are actually to to me absolutely meaningless um but then i don't really live in the world like uh, a lot of people do i i have my own alternate universe here so I want you to think about that. I want you to think about what are you chasing? And then I want you to think about, well, when we're talking about the carrot, we're usually talking about the stick. So if there's only the carrot and there's no stick, what is pushing you? Yes, going for that, going, going and going and going and going. But behind it, there is often fear. So I want you to think about the fear and the fear that you may have in your own life while you're chasing your own particular carrot. Is anything driving you for that? Is there a real need? Is there a fear or is it an imagined fear? And when we're thinking about fear, we're thinking about the awareness centers and in particular the open spleen, you know, the fear of not feeling safe the fear of being vulnerable, wanting to get stronger, the same for the open sacral, wanting to become more powerful and more powerful and more powerful. I mean, open sacrals that become um, rich and powerful in the world, they, a lot of them don't know when enough is enough and it, it gets really absurd. And the damage that they cause in the abuse of that power in order to get more power, in order to get more power. Now I want you to think about it in the other way. I want you to think about the, the fixed sacral. And the fixed sacral is either frustrated or it's satisfied. And what is satisfaction? I remember... Um, <laughs> Uh, bringing uh, 16 Italians to England for an event I was doing for uh, Kindred Spirit magazine when I was running it. It was, an, it was a, a hell of a thing. I mean, like Italians, 16 of them. It's like herding cats, not an easy thing to do. And um, the subject matter was um, obscure and mystical. And I had no idea if it was going to work or not. But it did work. And I remember at the end of the event, I was sitting down in a chair, um, having a drink, relaxed. It was now over and people were walking by, transformed. I mean, they were walking by saying, my God, that was amazing. And I was sitting there just with this sense of satisfaction. There was nothing to do. All the doing had been done. And I want you to think about that in terms of satisfaction. If you're a generator and you've had a really fulfilling life in terms of that day. Now, it doesn't matter what you're doing. It could be manual work. It could be intellectual work, whatever it is. But if you've really used your energy that day and using your physical energy as a as a generator is also important. The intellectual uh, energy isn't enough. In my view, if you're a generator, you need to use your physical energy. And at the end of the day, you have this feeling of satisfaction in that various things have been done, but also there's nothing to do. There's no carrot to chase now. 
You've done your work for the day. And if anything else comes up, yes, you can do that if you're a generator, but you don't have to. I watch open sacrals in work and I watch them work and then they do their work and then they want to stop and that's it. With a generator, you can keep on keeping on. But when there's nothing to keep on about, when you're in rest mode, wow, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? You know, those of you who are generators, when you've really had a full on day and you've still got a couple of hours in the evening just to relax. And if you if you come into the sense of your body and your energy and where you are, this is what it's about. It's not about chasing the carrot. It's not about chasing next best thing. It's not about proving yourself endlessly. It's not about more and more and more. Life is about being joyful and still and taking it all in. And yes, movement happens and life happens, but there has to be somewhere to come back to. And the fear that may be driving you from your past or driving you from your um, your lack in some way, when that is over, when that is fulfilled, it's important to understand that we've got to just calm down and relax. And before we go chasing any other carrots, to really make sure it comes from a genuine um, strategy and authority. Now, if you're responding to something, and I have the 40-second gate in me, when I respond to something, I've got to be able to finish it. The 40-second gate needs to finish things. That means that when I finish something, I get these moments when it is over and my energy is back for me to use as I will without chasing any carrot. And it's very important to me to get to that point every day when enough is enough and I can just chill. So if you're chasing your a carrot of some sort, and if you're chasing a carrot of some sort, especially these days in terms of Instagram and um, TikTok, when you've got to be posting and posting and posting and getting more and more, whatever it is, I, I don't even know what it is, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you trying to be the best? How many people out there in a world of open egos, open wills, open heart centers, 65% are open. How many of you are trying to be the best? How many of you are pushing yourself out of your nature in order to occupy um, a status or whatever it may be that does not suit you, that is not natural for you, that is in fact taking away from your life? There is a lot of energy right now getting human beings to keep on and on and on and on. It's almost like we're being wound up at a faster and faster pace. And I think that's something to resist. I think that's something where you have to find your own place. In the 10th gate, the gate of behavior is also a gate of loving oneself. And in the foundation line, in the first line, it is a line of modesty. It is a line of knowing one's place. Knowing one's place in the flow of life. Loving oneself as one is in one's place. This is what it means to be loving oneself, to behave in a way that is not always chasing the carrot, that isn't always trying to behave according to the way other people and other societal influences want you to behave. It's behaving as yourself. It's loving yourself. So think about this. Think about if you have a logical mind and you get on a track and you're always chasing the next thing on that track and the sequences are moving too fast. Is that happening to you? Slow down. Yeah, maybe you want to change the track. Maybe you want to pause at the railway station and have a nice cup of tea. It doesn't serve us well 
to always be chasing something, whether it's an open G chasing love, whether it's an open sacral chasing power, whether it's an open uh, solar plex chasing the emotional energy, always trying to keep up. Ask yourself, where are you always trying to keep up? And what is behind that? And look to your chart and see if you can find the the keys. The you know, you've got to be a bit of a detective in human design sometimes when you go, well, what is driving me in that? Let me have a look at this. See what you can find. See what is pushing you unnaturally into too fast a life that does not suit you. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe and share. And I will be back with something completely different very soon. Bye for now.